So here it is, we now have our official San Diego Comic Con exclusive action figures by Jada Toys. So first off is the Violent Ken figure. This one was a no brainer. I knew this one was definitely going to be a San Diego Comic Con exclusive, uh, especially since they did it with Evil Ryu. And I know I talked about this a bunch of times now, but I wanted to show off the new images here uh, with the Violent Ken and then the pink Chun-Li figure. So this is one that I was excited for when it was first revealed and even excited when I seen it like in the package and now seeing these promo images right here, this figure looks sick, man. Especially the yelling expression. That is a really good head sculpt right there. It's just so cool. And then the accessories too that it comes with, like, you know, like the barrels and then the effect pieces. And I even like the Evil Ryu figure. So if you have the Evil Ryu figure, uh, I think you definitely got to get the Violent Ken. I think those two are going to look amazing next to each other. Next up is the pink Chun-Li variant. This is a deluxe figure because it's coming with new accessories. So it has a new head sculpt, new interchangeable hands, and then she's finally coming with her new Kikoken effect piece. Um, I really like the color on this one. I like the uh, Player 2 Chun-Li figure. I thought the color on that looked really sick and the paint job was really clean. So this one I'm really getting to and you know, I love Chun-Li. And, you know, I'm, I'm also just trying to go all in on their, pretty much all of their stuff, really. Um, you know, Street Fighter, Mega Man. The only thing I was not expecting was, I did not think this was going to also be a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. I just thought this was just going to be, like, just exclusive just to, to their website, you know, the Jada Next Level website. Uh, which, it will still be on there, though, since I know they usually put their, you know, their San Diego Comic Con exclusives on their site, too. And then the last one we have here is the Chester Cheetah figure. So this is a variant. This is the Flaming Hot variant is what they're calling it. Uh, the difference that I'm seeing here is, well, you can definitely like see the, the, the dark red around the figure. But that's mainly because it does glow in the dark. And another thing I'm seeing is, well, the accessory is now the, you know, the Flaming Hot Cheetos bag. But I think the big like Cheeto um, accessory is like... A dark red too because of the hot you know like flavor really um but i think that's the only thing i'm seeing right now it looks like everything else is come with like it's going to be come with the same accessories but of course um you know it's just really just the bag and then the cheeto that's a little bit different here and that the figure glows in the dark so yeah just a simple you know variant you know it is an exclusive too so it's something that you don't really necessarily need to get but I'm going to get it just because I really did enjoy this figure. This figure shocked me a whole lot when I first reviewed it. Um, I was not expecting uh, this figure to really be that good when I first got in hands. And, you know, that's what I like about their figures. It's like it's like certain characters or like figures that I I wouldn't be interested in. But once I get in hand, it's like, wow, <laughs> like, you know, it just, it just really shocks me. So this was one of those that I really enjoyed. And I still have this figure like displayed like on my desk like it's just a a fun <laughs> like figure really it's just really random but it's really cool it's one of those figures that like i don't expect to really get but it's just one of those that like you know you got it and now you want more of it really you know so that's another thing i'm also expecting them to do more with the uh i don't really think they're doing like cereal mascots now i think they're just kind of doing like food brand mascots now um but I'm, I'm just like looking forward if they're going to do any more of that or if they're going to reveal another one at some point. But yeah, the Chester Cheetah figure, um, it was awesome. So I'm, you know, looking forward to getting this again, you know, because why not? I like the figure. So that's pretty much that. But yeah, those were the only three right there. And these were the last uh, one. I think Chun-Li was the last one they showed off. Nothing on Mega Man, uh, sadly. <laughs> Nothing on Mega Man, really. But yeah, that was just their only San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. Yeah, that was pretty much that. Now, where to get these? So, obviously, these will be at their booth at San Diego Comic-Con. But if you want to pre-order these, it will be the same way like last year where, you know, Evil Ryu was on their site. So, this is going to be the same thing. Uh, the way how to get these is that these will be on their website starting July 25th at 9 a.m. So yeah, the Street Fighter figures, Violent Ken, and the Pink Chun-Li figure will be available on their Jada Next Level website July 25th at 9 a.m. However, the Chester Cheetah figure you can pre-order right now on Entertainment Earth. He is available there and they have the date scheduled for August as of right now. 
So if you do want the Chester figure, he is up for pre-order right now on Entertainment Earth. But yeah, man, that's pretty much that. Uh, you know, San Diego Comic Con, it's, it's it's right there, man. It's insane how close it is. Um, it, it's kind of crazy to think about that, cause man, it feels just like yesterday. I was talking about the uh, render images of these figures, and uh, you know, speaking of that, I'm still concerned on where's that Fei Long figure, cause that's one I'm also looking forward to. Like that was the one that I I mentioned all the time, cause I'm like, okay, now I want that Fei Long now. You know what I mean? Uh, but still nothing about that. Like, is that going to be a New York Comic Con exclusive? I have no idea. Was it fake? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, tr I'm trying to figure out what's what's going on with that one because I'm, I'm curious on that one as well. I mean, and the only reason why I brought up the New York Comic Con exclusive thing is because um, I'm hearing that Jada Toys is going to be at New York Comic Con as well. So, but yeah, I, I, I have no idea, man. I have no idea. But, you know, I'll update you guys on that, of course. But that is going to be it for this video. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the news today. Until then, take care, my friends.